Pinketty is a popular club host who works as a social media influencer, model, dancer, reality TV star, and rapper. Well, the music part is a bit far-fetched, but she does have an EP out. Most of us got introduced to her through her dance group Pro Talkers. She even got a feature in Caspar Novesta's song Tito Mboweni. After a while, she left the dance group and started modeling and got into club hosting as well. Of course, in all that time, she got famous enough to land a reality TV show gig called Have Faith, making her the first woman to have her own reality show on MTV Africa. After all that, she still wanted to pursue music. She roped in DJ Maporisa to launch her EP Disrespectful, and just like everything she does, she got mixed reactions. But publicity is publicity, and all that talk just served to get her noticed. She has had her fair share of controversy, from a leaked sex tape, her infamous fling with Davido, an alleged hookup with Offset from Migos, that pimping scandal, and of course that cheating thing that happened late last year. So today we are looking at some of her most controversial moments. Of course, we have to start with the 2016 sex tape because that is what catapulted her to fame. Although she has gone to do so many other things, but that Kim K moment is still talked about even today. If you don't know about the sex tape I am talking about, where have you been? But also don't bother looking for it because it's like a few seconds. In the clip, it looks like she and her boyfriend were having oral sex. I cringed watching it because it just looked uncomfortable. I mean, the guy's knees are tripping and pulling her hair. The whole thing just looked painful. The video was mistakenly posted to her IG and deleted shortly afterwards. According to her in her own words, first of all, if I had to leak a sex tape, it would be a sex tape. Till today, I can't explain how it got out, but that was also very embarrassing for me. But I got through it. It was with my boyfriend and we were on holiday. It was like our third or fourth anniversary. I don't even know how it happened. I was watching TV with him in the hotel room and boom. We were getting calls. I really don't know how it happened. Till today, I can't explain that story. Well, whether she posted it by mistake or not, the good sis decided to roll with it. And seven years later, she is still on everyone's lips. The Migos debacle. Remember in 2017 when she posted that video of Offset at the airport. And then later that same year, Migos landed in SA. At that time, it was rumored that the two spent the night together at a club then in Offset hotel room. Hi guys, look who I came across. <laughs> People further implied that she had organized girls to entertain Migos while they were in SA. Just after that Faith and Offset video, Cardi B proceeded to dump Offset. And of course, SA Twitter concluded that Cardi B dumped him because of his hookup with Faith. But to be honest, that five second clip is not incriminating at all. So I doubt Cardi B was influenced by that. Maybe the two were just going through a rough page or something at the time. Defending herself, Faith said, I'm such a fan. I landed from Paris and he landed from LA or wherever he was from and in baggage claim I saw Offset and I was like hey Offset can I take a picture as a normal fan how that escalated to me having a whole affair with him is beyond me I don't know first of all Offset is not even my type why was I trending for that why are people saying I slept with them so I can't even take a snap with a talented artist you guys are bullies and I'm in a very happy relationship as for the Migos concert me being backstage I'm sorry to say but I can afford to get myself anywhere I desire. For your concern, I was not there with or for Offset. I was there for the Migos concert with my friend, just like thousands of other people that were there in case y'all didn't see them. So according to her, no one slept with anyone and she was backstage because she can afford to do so and not because she was organizing stock for the group. She has also been accused of pimping girls out to rich men. So in 2018, she launched an agency called Feline Management. After she launched... She sent out posters looking for women to hire. The only qualifications they needed were the ability to dance, move, and have a good time. So to anyone reading it, it would seem like it's a hosting gig. Well, someone posted the following Twitter DM. I was desperate and I needed cash and I joined Faith's agency for some quick cash. I ended up being raped by six men all taking turns and Faith paid me 20000 to be quiet. I took the money and said nothing. I was too ashamed. I'm telling you that woman is a hardcore pimp. The whole modeling agency is just a front or maybe a side operation. Many girls are selling their bodies for this woman. Of course, she trended with people calling her every name under the sun, talking about how she needed to be arrested for taking advantage of desperate girls. Her response? She says that was one of the toughest weeks of my life. 
when that tweet came out first of all i lost a lot of money and to clear it up guys it's not true there is no such thing what this person did and what he said i do is deeper than me trending girls were dming me saying that they wanted to be a part of this he made me realize that there is a deeper problem here girls are saying i can do that sending naked pictures of themselves etc well okay girl fast forward to 2021 she has found her soulmate shooting the third season of a reality show and showing off her brand new range rover bought for her by the said soulmate nzuzo njilo then boom the popcorn room released a dm of faith allegedly cheating on him with a white guy they were supposedly looking way too cozy just to be friends when faith caught wind of it she clapped back saying the rumors were disrespectful to her and her partner addressing the situation she said people are saying i cheated on my boyfriend at sumo i did not he was very much present we left together we were with each other the whole night this is just a thing that i'm not going to take when it comes to my relationship please respect me don't create rumors whoever created that rumor you are evil and it's disgusting you guys don't owe me anything but at least just respect him i signed up for this he didn't quickly just to address a couple of things and i'm not really one to address things because you know i don't like you know i don't like you know just making something bigger than it really is but i'm not gonna keep quiet to this one because this is just so disrespectful sorry this is just so disrespectful to me and my partner and like i'm just not gonna keep quiet so one um people are saying that i cheated on my boyfriend at sumo i did not he was very much present um we left together we were with each other the whole night i was upset hence i posted what i posted which was very childish definitely but please don't come here and lie like it's just so rude you guys like it's so disrespectful and this is just one thing i'm not gonna take when it comes to my relationship so yeah with all due respect please respect me and my relationship and like don't create rumors whoever created that rumor you are so evil it's disgusting so please don't be creating rumors and you know saying things that are just honestly a lie um so thank you with all due respect please respect me respect my partner um you guys don't owe me anything but you know at least just respect him like he is really just not guys i signed up for this he didn't okay so let's remember that clearly there was nothing to the rumors because they got married soon after and just last week they introduced their baby to the world of course there are those pictures of her and davido locking lips at one point an entanglement maybe who knows but what i do know is that no matter what people say or think faith will continue to do her and that is that on that